All right, so let's look at this question on equivalence capacitance. So in this question, we are asked to find the equivalent, equivalent capacitance of this particular system or this setup, okay? We'll be using the circuit reduction technique to solve this question. Now, um, in this question, observe that we are given the capacitors, all right, or the capacitance of each of these capacitors as C, all right? The capacitance of each of these capacitors are given as C, and we are asked to find the equivalent capacitance. Now, how do we solve this? For this question, we'll be using the circuit reduction technique, as I said, and we'll be using the concept of adding capacitors in series and in parallel, okay? I've explained everything you need to know about um, finding equivalent capacitance from the very scratch in our previous class, all right? I'll leave a link to that video in the video description, all right? So check the video description. You see a link to our full lecture on capacitance, capacitors, and what we mean, all right? But for now, just be solving this question. All right, so straight to this question, what's the first thing to do here? The first thing to do here is to identify that some of the capacitors are in parallel, okay? So observe that this capacitor, this one here, these two capacitors, this and also these, are in parallel, okay? And we said when capacitors are in parallel, what do you do? You sum, you just sum them up, okay? So for capacitors in parallel, just simply sum them up. So for this now, I will take this one here, Okay, um, something else to note is that if I'm having cases like this, when it comes to circuit reduction, you start from the closed end. This part is called a closed end. Start from the closed, from the closed end and resolve towards the open end. So what you have here is the open end. Of course, you can see this, it's actually open. All right, so start from the closed end and resolve to the open end. So my first task would be I'll resolve these capacitors, this one here, starting from the closed end, this one here, but this and this coincidentally are the same thing. So that means that anything I solve for this one here becomes the same answer for this. All right, so it saves us the time. All right, so these two are in parallel. All right, so this one here is in parallel. This one here is in parallel. Let's get their capacitance. When capacitors are in parallel, the equivalent is simply to sum them up. That means for this one here, the capacitance of this one here becomes simply C, which is the capacitance here, plus C, which is the one here. C plus C gives you what there? 2C. So the equivalent of this connection here, this one here, is actually 2C. Same thing here. The equivalent of this one here is also 2C. Now, if we have these two here, let's now redraw this diagram. If I redraw this diagram, I'll be having something that looks like um, this this one here, um, for this one, two, we have this, okay, this one here, okay, let me do this this way, having this, 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 okay, then we have this here, we have this one here, this, We have this all right so i'll be having here this was given to us as a and this was given to us as b now when we resolved we had this point as 2c so this now becomes 2c this becomes c this was still c from the question which is this part here it is still c and then this other part we resolve this as what there 2c all right so we are now at this point here so we've resolved the diagram from this point to this, as I've said, I've explained everything about circuit resolution in our previous class. I'll leave a link in the video description. All right, so we have this case here. What's the next task there? Don't forget to say start from the closed end and resolve towards the open end, all right? Um, my next task would be observe that these two capacitors, this, um, this capacitor here, this one here, and this one here are in series. Why are they in series? Because we said series connection is simply the end-to-end -end connection. So you can see that if I have something like this and something like this, the end of this one here is connected to the end of this. So the end of this is connected to the end of this. That becomes a series arrangement. That means um, this capacitor here and this one here are both arranged in series. And in series connection, we have that the equivalent for series, for series, the equivalent is equal to 1 all over C, which is equal to 1 all over, let's take this one first, so 1 all over C plus 
1 all over this one here. That's 1 all over 2C. So when they're in um, when they're in series, you take their inverse, okay? So the capacity, the equivalent becomes 1 all over C is equal to, for these two, your LCM here is 2C, right? 2C divided by C gives you 2. It becomes 2 times what you have here, which is 2 times 1. That gives you 2 plus 2C divided by 2C gives you 1. 1 times what you have here, that's 1 times 1. That gives you 1. So this now becomes 1 all over C. It's equal to 2 plus 1 numerator is 3 all over 2C. To get the value of C, to get the value of C, I'll just invert them. Right. So take this upside down. Also take this one to upside down. That means from here I'll have C all over 1. It's equal to upside down for this. That becomes 2C all over 3. All right, so it means that the equivalent of these two, that's this one here, and this is about 2C. Now we'll have to redraw this diagram. To redraw the diagram, I'll now have something that looks like this. I have this one here. I have this. Um, okay, let me do this this way. Okay, comes down this way. It moves this way, comes down this way, and it moves this way. Okay, this comes down first. So what I have here, what I have here becomes A, what I have here becomes B. Don't forget that the equivalent of this part here, of these two we've resolved, gave us the answer as 2C over 3. That 2C over 3 would come to this position. So I'll have this at 2C over 3. This is the position. While at this point here, we already had an answer here as 2C before now. Um, that was this one here, 2C. All right, so to get my equivalent there, so therefore, therefore the equivalent will now be equal to, observe that 2C and 2C over 3 are in parallel. If they're in parallel, that means I'll just combine straight. That means I'll call this C equivalent. The equivalent is equal to combine them straight. That's 2C plus 2C over 3, since they're in parallel. Let's solve this. Um, CQ, the equivalent is equal to 2C is same thing as 2C over 1. Plus 2c all over 3. Let's take LCM here. In this case, here we'll have that C E Q is equal to the LCM here of 1 and 3 is actually 3. So my LCM here is 3. I will now have 3 divided by 1. 3 divided by 1 gives me 3. That becomes 3 times what I have here, which is 3 times 2c. 3 times 2c gives me 6c. So I have 6c plus next up we have 3 divided by 3, that gives you 1. Use that 1 to multiply what you have here. That becomes 2c times 1. Um, if I punch 2c times 1, I'll have 2c. And if I work on this, 6c plus 2c gives you 8c all over 3. That means the equivalent of the circuit is, you can say 8c all over 3 or 8 all over 3c, whichever one. That's your answer. All right, so that's the answer to this question. Okay, so I've prepared over 100 videos on physics, chemistry, mathematics, and other science subjects. It's on my website. All right, so visit my website www.journalimari.com forward slash courses. All right, and then you see the jam slash fire classes. Do well to register an account to the website if you have not registered an account to the website yet. Rest an account to the website and then go. You can now proceed for that to get the jam slash wire um, courses. It gives you access to over 100 videos on physics, chemistry, mathematics, and other science subjects. And for each of the topics, I've done past questions for the last 10 years. Okay. Or you can simply join my jam slash wire channel membership to get exclusive access to videos. All right. You get um, access to exclusive contents. All right. I'll leave a link to both my website and my channel membership in the video description all right then um if you enjoyed this video as usual please hit the like button or like this video leave a comment if you have any questions leave a comment leave the question in the comment section uh, if it's your first time or if you get to subscribe do want to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon 
so that you get notified whenever we update new content. And finally, share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in our next class.